Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to replace the glow plug of this Fever 8 kilowatt diesel heater. So I got an E3 error code on the display and it won't start. And then I look in the manual and I discovered the glow plug was not working. So I ordered a new one on uh, Amazon. You can buy them for a couple of euros on Amazon, AliExpress, Timu, whatever you like, as long as you order the good one. They come in different sets. They come with an inner core and a tool. I just bought the, the spare one without the tool and without the inner core, which I'm gonna show you in this video. As you can see, when I'm starting it up, it gives the E3 error code. So we're going to open it up now and replace the glow plug. First we remove the hose. So I have now a small power box here to test it. I disconnected it. I have made this connector to EC get the 12 volt power. So on the side you have these clips. I don't want to spill any diesel, so I have to be very careful because I want to keep the diesel tank on. I don't want to disconnect the hose. I have a piece of wood behind it. I can rest the tank on. Disconnect this connector. Come on. I have to unscrew this one. It's not the most handy way, but it works. This one is keeping the outer uh, outer box connected so when you undo that you can simply lift it and take it off so here we see the glow plug and there is this base plate where all the connectors come together oh i see i already cut myself all the connectors come together the power uh, to the air uh, diesel pump and this, the green and the yellow one, is from the glow plug. So I need to unscrew this hexagon screw. This is a clamp. You can squeeze it. It will come loose. And then we can Pull out the connector. And do it from the rubber. And normally you have this tool, you can unscrew it, but I don't have that one. But they are not really tight in there. So I'm just gonna do it this way. See it already came loose and then simply I remove it carefully because I don't want to damage the inner core and I don't want to damage the glow plug. Showing it from a little bit closer you can see the inner core in there. That is the mesh you see. I hope I have the right focus. 
that's the mesh the meshy thing you see you can get it out with a pin set or something we're not gonna do that because this one is looking fine and here I have the new one with the protection cover take it off carefully put it in there And tighten it up. That's it, and put the rubber back on. So it's all tight and closed up again. This one come back here. Connect it again on the pins and click it back together. Make sure all the wires are free. And we can put the hexagon in again. Putting the cover back on. And make sure it's all closing up proper. Like this. And then putting the ring back on. The connector fits only one way. Make sure all the cables are free, that you not block your fuel line. Tank back on. Cover won't fit. All the cables inside. And it's ready to go again. We're gonna start it up now and see if it works again. I have to give it some power. This place come on. Turn it on. It should be clicking now any moment. This one is auto priming, so no need for pre-primer, priming the machine. It's doing it all by itself. And it starts pumping, so it means it works again. Looks like it makes a lot of noise, but it's not that hard to sound. Just in the video it looks louder and it's working again for now I hope you like this video I hope I helped you out with uh, replacing this uh, glow plug if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe to my channel 
And if you have any comments, leave them below this video. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.